There's a once in a lifetime event happening in the sky almost every night. It's worth going out and looking. So the most recent super moon is actually just uh, the past the past days. It's called the, uh, the the Buck Moon is the is the full moon in July. So the moon actually has an orbit that's a little bit elliptical, a little bit elongated compared to a circle, uh, and so that means that sometimes it's a bit further away from the Earth, sometimes it's a bit closer to the Earth. When it's closest, that's the perigee, and if full moon happens when the moon is within 90% of as close as it can get to the Earth, then it's a super moon because it really is that much brighter. The moon was only 361,000 kilometers away. It's not a huge variation, but it's enough that you can show eight or 9% increase in illumination. My favorites are always the temple. When you see it on the horizon, it's so huge. You know, it's stunning. It gets people engaged. It's just awesome. It really is. So I had a window seat on a plane last night uh, going over Lake Ontario. Perfect image of this fantastic moon. Got my phone out and my pictures are terrible. They were awful. Like I was, you know, it's not even worth showing you. Uh, but two more chances for all of us to at least enjoy the super moon, even if we're not talented enough to get a great picture. August 1st and either the 30th or the 31st.